If you could let me explain... That you lied to me and then disappeared while there's a sea monster attacking the harbour? I was worried sick. <sighs> Mum, you don't understand. I had to... You don't have to do anything. You are grounded. What? And you're not leaving this house without me until I say so. <sighs> Darren! Mom! No more hanging with devils, okay? But he's my friend, Mom. You can't be friends with that. Oh, come on. Mark is friends with Murph, man. He's way worse. We'll talk about it later, but for now, you're grounded for a month. Okay, sweet. I understand plenty. You're a grown man with a wife and three kids and a job you're gonna lose if you don't get serious and get that diploma. I mean, look at this homework. It says find X and you drew an arrow. Pointing to the X. Well, that's where it is. You're not even trying, Jimmy. All you're doing is partying and fooling around. But no buts. Now march up those stairs and go to your room, old man. You're grounded. It's not fair. What the hell is this? It's a field trip. You need to sign it. <laughs> Mega elote. Hold it right there. That's it. You two are grounded. But Mom! I didn't do it. it. Must have been Max's friends. That's how they got in the house. What friends? His imaginary ones. He had them all over last night. There was the purple Spanish one and this red guy with one arm and this girl in an airplane birthing or riding a bicycle all over the living room. And Blue was back too. Mac didn't give him up at all. Terrence, you're grounded. You don't remember what it's like to be a kid, to have fun, to take risks. I'll never be a stupid mechanic. I'll be something cool, like a race car. I earn an honest living and provide for this family. It's time you appreciate hard work. Hard work, my bumper. Danny Carbuckle, you are grounded. I don't know what made you think you're such a tough car, but it's time you learn your lesson. You need to start actually taking life seriously. The astounding Blase's cannon? That's it! The cabinet and magic props are going back to the House of Swap today! And you, mister, are grounded until we find Mr. Cat! I didn't do it! The cat did! The crumbs on your face tell another tale, son. What crumbs? I haven't eaten a single cookie yet. Oh, those are greeny girl cookie crumbs, all right. I'm docking your allowance till you pay for all the cookies you ate. But I'll be 65 before I pay it off. Unless now is a good time to ask for a raise. <gasps> the loss of those cookies is nothing to joke about, young man. You're grounded until further notice. Inside, Coop. Your grounding starts now. Hey, what, what's my ball? So, Cat wants to play hardball. Oh, haven't you destroyed enough property for one day? Go to your room and consider yourself double grounded. What's going on out here? Cat's trapped his collar on me and now everyone's after me and I can't get it. Off? <laughs> it must have fallen off somewhere. I'll just go to my room because I'm grounded now, aren't I? You think? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to class with you. Tina, what are you doing? Dad, you don't understand. I understand you're grounded, effective right now. Bob, let it go. <laughs> <laughs>